Today on Gaming Garbage, we have a very special guest. Very special guest. Can you please reveal yourself? I am very special. Thank you. This is Michael J. Nelson. Um, and you are Rich Kayanka. Yeah, I'm the unspecial guest. You're the very special guest. And Mike's been with us before. Um, you probably have it burned into your memory when we played the open world uh, furry cat marijuana game i sure do yeah there was one we wandered around a house luigi's like mansion haunt. sir okay yeah all right <laughs> sorry oh, no. sorry no it's just uh you know some of us remember these dramatic uh, life events more than the others i don't fault you for it it's okay i remember uh, we were able to kind of walk through walls and floors which i've never been able to do in my real life so i appreciated being whisked away to another world mike keep trying that's all, all right. i gotta tell you okay. never give up your dreams all right. Speaking of dreams, uh, I need to introduce you to the world of somebody named Paco415. That's his given name? Uh, it, apparently. I, I, I don't okay. know. Or maybe there was 414 Pacos and they were just absolutely mo somehow more worse than him. And he's just like, uh, I am the next revision. Do you think there was one Paco and he just, just to be a dick, he just took all 414 Pacos? <laughs> yeah, that was Paco41X. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah, well, I hope uh, they're all dead because uh, Paco415 right now reigns in the computer video game world. He's uh, the king of Pacos. I don't, I don't know why he doesn't change the king of Pacos. But uh, he, he's a highly foreign person, as you can probably tell by Paco. Not a normal name like Steve or mm -hmm. Richard Kayanka. Or and, Mike. Um, he makes games that are um, questionable in quality. Oh, oh. Uh, well, let's let's not rush to judgment. Okay. Well, I mean, I have because I've experienced them before. This is okay. going to be a new experience to you, just like successfully walking through a wall. So I hope you have your excitement pants on because they're about to be blown off, Mike. I am not wearing excitement pants. Hang on. Let me grab them from the shelf. And there, they're on. Okay, okay awesome. Well, the first one we have, uh, did, are you up with, did, do you know any Spanish? I do not. Okay, good because it probably wouldn't make sense uh, anyways. Nine. Uh, it's uh, nine, nine Spanish. Oh, you know nine words in Spanish. That's cool. Uh, we've got El Laberinto del Toro, which I believe means the uh, labyrinth of the bowl, which act, I, I took four years of Spanish. Uh, I spent most of it trying to climb out the window in class. So sure. I'm just using what scraps that I have. You should have just walked through the wall because that's what you can do. <laughs> All right, let's uh, labyrinth delve. of the bull. Let's delve into the something and the Unity engine. That's always a great. Oh, oh, wow! The well, bull is coming right at you. They're not messing around. Yeah. Uh, okay. So we're the, the guy is... with the cherry feathered head. Can you hear me, by the way? The audio is a little loud. The audio is very loud. I, if you can crank it down, that'd be great. Okay, right now it's on, um, let's see here, 10. So let's move it down to uh, nine, since that is your favorite number. Can you, by chance, hear me any better now? A, a little bit. Are, are we the person who is continually screaming? Um... It's up for debate. Okay, because you know, if so, I would say calm down as, you know, it's not, nothing's really happened yet. We're standing. Well, we've got, uh, you can see our ass, by the way. We've got what appears to be some sort of a small um, potter's plant around our waist. And, and above uh, our heads are, it looks like, I mean, I guess hearts. Uh... Uh, again, up for debates. We have okay. manhole cover. And oh, we have like two. Br oh, oh, I see. It's not two brush oh, yeah, heads. The, That's the sword. Yeah, those up. hearts are our health. Okay. Yeah. No, I figured. But uh, the bull, when we meet him, I'm going to ask him to put some excitement pants on because it's very upsetting to look at his smooth genital area. Yeah, and, and what is he doing to that woman that you see? just randomly appear because well, he's she's kind of floating around she seems yeah. fine she it... doesn't seem to be in any danger <laughs> i think that they're both not aware of each other because they're so intent on doing their own thing and i don't know what that thing is 
I really would ask the screaming person, could you get a hold of your... Whatever's happening cannot be that bad. Okay. Well, Please I'm trying to figure down. out the controls here. You would think that if you had a sword and a shield... Oh, by the way, I can't run because that would be complicated. Oh, what's that big wide open plane to your rightishness? Yeah, I, I'm going to be... Uh, it's the edge of the world as we know it. Yeah. And so I think... Uh, maybe we can take a shortcut off here. Let's see. Is that a, like, it looks like a mall directory there. You could look at that and see. <laughs> yeah. Could... I want to see where the TCBY is. Let me check it yeah. out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Coldstone uh, Creamery or, or GTFO. <laughs> Sorry, I'm all Walden books, baby. I, I, I went real retro with that one. Okay. Uh, boy. Oh, what? How did you, did you turn around there? Yeah. Um. It, oh if, no! There's ceiling on your head. <laughs> you know, Mike. In these games, that'll happen. You'll have ceiling on your head at times. Sure. Uh, I. Okay. Um. This has been fun. <laughs> yeah. There's a. Uh, there's been lots the, of twists and turns. There's been the gameplay. Uh, intrigue. Gameplay goes excitement. maybe a little too quickly. I don't know. Uh, okay. Well, well, we hold on. Uh, okay, we can get into this pose if I hold down control. Oh. And when we're in this pose, we can. It's the undulating is upsetting. Could you stop undulating? No. Because your pants kind of go away when, you, or your little loincloth goes away. Mike, you know that's my thing. <laughs> don't, don't, don't ruin it for me, please. That's all I have left. Um, uh, this is a little known theological point that I want to raise. When you go to hell, this is the sound that you continually hear. <laughs> so, so uh, I'm getting it's in the Bible. for the inevitable. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. yeah. Okay, great. I've, uh, I've, I've always wanted to get ahead in life, and finally, I can. This is... um, <laughs> I, uh... So there's, so there's two. Oh wait, 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 wait! wait. I, I just kind of, I'm kicking. Oh. Okay, okay. We discover new gameplay mechanic. And we oh. can, oh, look at this. Hold on, I, I moved blocks. Oh, you're kicking the blocks down? Uh, I, I, I briefly did. There we go. You mm -hmm. see this? Okay, so apparently what action. I Action, we have action. I can't, I, I can't jump. And this, uh, th this, uh, pillar does not seem to want to exactly fall. Oh, there we go. Okay. It's top. Oh. Wow, you did it. Yeah, our, our videos are a little off sync, but yeah, yeah uh, I got the, as you can see, um, I got the uh, purple uh, mold cube. Uh -huh. And I, I, well, I can't actually do anything with it. And there's a green pea. Do you but, have to kick them again? Oh, wait, wait. Oh, I remember. I played an early version of this game. You know how they uh, release it in early access when it's oh, you, incomplete? You, you got a beta? Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This, this is this is the completed version. Uh, or as they say in uh, Paco 415, completo. Yes. So I, I remember this puzzle. You have to run into the purple cube and kick it up this ramp into the purple uh, the mini putt-putt golf uh, hole. Well, that is actually written in the lore of the labyrinth of the the bull. The minotaur. Is that yeah? The minotaur is that. Uh, that's one of the tasks: is to kick the purple cube up a small ramp. Yeah, because the minotaurs. I mean, when it comes to purple croutons, they hate them. They really do. I mean, if you ever see a minotaur and he's eating salad, you look at the color of those croutons because I guarantee you they're not going to be purple. What you can do is you sneak him a crouton that's purple, but you kind of cover it with the powdered cheese, and he'll eat it and die. Oh, so you have experience secrets. with this? Yeah, that's how you defeat a minotaur. Oh, so you're gonna you're 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 gonna help me with? Oh shh! <laughs> Did you, you kick it off the ramp? <laughs> oh come on! <laughs> Sorry, the uh, and I'm using this term lightly. Physics here. Oh come! There we go. All right, I got nice. it. Nice. Yeah, I got it. Um, and yet that did not stop the screaming. Okay. <laughs> no. Damn it. This, and I guarantee you this sound is going to be in your head long after we're done playing this, Mike. Oh, you've become a pro at the kicking now. Yeah, no, I got all the right moves. And now I got to do the same thing with the key. 
where like you you know in some primitive stupid games they allow you to pick up items mm -hmm. yeah well no this is a that step ahead cheating. Yeah. this is a step ahead we get to just kind of run into it and so you're just kind of brushing it around with your with your shins there we go yeah kind of and what hope for doing. the best teso capicholo Junior? What, what is it? Teso completulo I completado. That don't, means... Don't capitulate until you're done. You've don't made mistakes. give up. <laughs> oh! Um, as you can see, we have the rotating, uh, possibly detonating skull room. Uh-huh. You've picked them out of skulls already? I can't see that far. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. I, I, I've, uh, they, they call me uh, Eagle Eye Jackson. I don't know why, actually. It's not for your skull identification. That's just what they, the other names were taken. Yeah, it, it, it's because I love the movie Eagle Eye so much with Shia LaBeouf. And you're a fan of Eagle Eye Cherry, the band. You love it more than anything. I haven't heard them, but if they're bad, then I'll have to agree with you. Okay. Um, okay, I'm looking for the correct block to kick here because there does not seem to be any other way. Oh, there we go. Okay, I can I can oh, somehow nice. get up yeah. this. All right. Uh, so, Mike, I got to ask you, what is your decision regarding the rotating skulls and the fireworks? Because I don't want to screw this up. Well, look, when all you have is a hammer, everything looks like a nail. And so I would just say kick it with your shins. What about if we play this? I mean, I, I know you want to just leap into the world of kicking, but what if I kicked one of the blocks into them just to, like, test it out? Okay, so a little tentative, throw a crouton at it, see what happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, these are, you know, blocks are nature's croutons, so let's see yeah. if I can... Should I kick it or just gently shove it? I'm, I'm, I'm going to kick it. Here we go. All right. Okay, well... Skulls seem... They seem cool with it. Uh, um, oh, so well, now you're at an oil refinery? That was not the what? right move. Okay, oh, uh, I'm going to say we avoid them completely unless if we have to. Uh, what the just heck? walk around the floating skulls. Uh, okay. Uh, did we knock off, like, a, a panel of sheetrock or something? Yeah, there's some... Oh, uh... look at it go. Bye! Oh, wow. You leaving the game? You're stronger than you ever thought possible. I'm going to follow it, because I think it knows the way out. Oh, magic Come back! No, no, no! Wait! Oh! I have regrets! Oh, wow. it, it, it still stick around. I, I can't even kick it out of the game. <laughs> Okay, do you think we need to... Maybe we need to take down this Jenga puzzle a notch or two. Uh, oh, you lost... You did lose a life when you yeah. shot up into the air. Okay. Yeah, so... No, no, it was... Uh, yeah, when I fell down, because I think I touched a skull. Oh, okay. So I think on this part, what we have to do is, besides hearing the scr incessant screaming over and over and over and over oh, you, is... You hear that too? That's good. I thought that was just like now became a loop in my own mind well that oh shoot okay well i didn't lose a heart this time um but you can't touch the skull so i'm gonna try kicking the uh all right well how how do you know that you touch it like if you just get near the skull podium uh you yeah. descend from heaven and so what I'm going to do is displace the majestic orbs that are particle emitters and just to spite the skulls because they're like rotating. And the only thing that they see that's like worth redemption in their lives are these orbs because they're like every oh. time they rotate, they're like everything is boring. Oh, an orb! And they get excited every time. So it's like this is a Plato's cave allegory here. Uh, just all they can see are the shadows on the cave wall, and if you take them away, then their reality is upset. Is that what you're saying? Well, I'm, I'm saying is much like Plato. Ah! 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 That, that is a quote from uh, one of his dialogues. <laughs> well, I thought it was the entire play. They, they just refused to actually do it because, uh, um, well, it turns off audiences a little bit, honestly. Plato's 
screaming minotaur. Well, is the minotaur screaming or is the, I guess, woman? We've decided that's a woman. Um, uh, uh, gender, um, gender confused. I don't know. I think what it's, it uh, it's you know, Bugs Bunny when he dresses up as a woman and gets in the shower <laughs> and then shrieks when someone walks in on him. That's what this is. I've done that to Bugs Bunny, by the way. He really hates it. He I, does. Well, stop dressing up like a woman and getting in my shower then if you don't want to. Oh, yeah, exactly. He's unreasonable. I, I'm just, I'm giving up on that puzzle to see if I can get around these oil tanks and maybe figure out an alternate route to get to. Do you have to refine some sweet crude oil to win the <laughs> challenge or what? You have to refine the gameplay so you know what the hell you're doing. <laughs> Uh, I say I've got maybe 45 seconds of the screaming left in me before I uh, yeah, swipe my computer I, I off of my desk. I sometimes forget that you're not resilient <laughs> to these type of things like I am. Oh, wait, wait, wait. See, uh, just when you get bored, Paco 415 throws in something that gets your attention. Oh, it, it's the uh, Minotaur. We found him. We didn't even what? have to mess around with the skull puzzle. That was a red herring. Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I see, I, despite the fact that it's in Spanish, I see a small issue with the uh, text here, but whatever. Okay, uh, oh boy. <gasps> Magic Dude. hammer? Uh, um, what is that? It, mine's a little, I think mine's a little smaller than yours on my screen. No, 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 I, I don't know what it is either, Mike. Okay. I, I, <laughs> And I'm oh, afraid to hammer. touch it. <laughs> it's a hammer on a, with a pole. I, I, oh, it's a glass blowing pole. It's what he's blowing okay, glass. Okay, here we go. I, oh, I got it. And I'm, wait, what am I holding it with? <laughs> wait, oh. what? Oh, now you have a hammer in your, I think a left hand hammer, a right hand it, flaming pole. It's not in any hand. It seems to be jointed or hip. Okay, now to, okay, to swing the pole, you would think it would be a mouse button, but of course, Paco 415 doesn't, you know, do the predictable. I, I just want to observe here what's going on. Don't look I... up flaming pole on the internet. Yeah, either. okay, here we go. We have a wench, and she is, she's very uh, fleet of foot. She's uh, indefatigable too. She's not giving up. She's just, I would just be done with it. It's like, just kill me, eat me, whatever, but. Yeah, I mean, like, l let's say I hypothetically defeat the Minotaur. Like, what happens next with these two? We're still oh, I here. Think, I think marriage, for sure. It, it, yeah, but how are we going to get married in uh, Skull Quarry here? It's, uh, there's a priest in that skull box. <laughs> Every skull box contains a living priest. Yeah. It's like well, those you... uh, cereals when they had the free prizes inside. Oh. Oh. Uh, Have you figured out? Oh no. She uh somebody threw a concrete brick into her face. Oh no. Did it, you stab her by in the accidentally over the rock? I don't know. There? The Minotaur doesn't seem to care. He's still going about his business. Maybe they were unrelated. <laughs> the Minotaur had, had nothing to do with the woman. <laughs> Yeah, the, the Minotaur has his own problems, and the woman yeah. was there trying to help him. Yeah. That's the M. Night Shyamalan twist ending. Yes, and she was speaking Minotaurese. That wasn't screaming. She wow. was counseling him gently. Wow, that was... She was, the, you, she you was going like, Mr. Minotaur, please listen to me. <laughs> Be reasonable for once in your life. I know that you're hurting. We can deal with this. <laughs> Actually, we can't, but check out those skulls. Well, I hope you enjoyed that Paco 415 nightmare. Um, you can count me as a Paco fan now. Just, no, 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 no. Not, no, no. You have to be a Paco 415 fan. You don't want to get the rest of the Pacos involved in this. You just want to appreciate the one man, the artist, the genius, Paco 415. You know how they, obviously, you know, they have, you know, Meatloaf Monday, Taco Tuesday, Paco 415 Tuesday. I'm calling it from now on. Oh, baby. That's a great idea. <laughs> I didn't think of that, and for probably good reasons. But that that, that that's a that's a good idea. It's, it's it going rolls on my, off the tongue on my calendar from now on. Thank you, Mike. My pleasure. Thank you.